Welcome back to daytime. The warmer weather is in the air and it's time for the bestest summer eats we can find. Right? We want to change our, our diet, our menu a little bit. Well, let's have a pro tell us just how we can do that. Joining us right now is Paula Roy, food journalist and creative cook. And you're also host of Paula Roy's Favorite Foods on Rogers TV. That's right. With new episodes soon. That's right. New episodes airing in July. I love it. All right. So I did, we do change things up a little bit when we're when we're cooking in the summertime. Absolutely. It's lighter, it's fresher. I think a lot of us get inspired by what we see at farmers markets when we're out and about on the weekends and even the produce sections in our local grocery stores are really making a commitment to stocking what's local and in season. Yeah. Yeah. We just sometimes don't know where to start. Well, it looks good. You know, yeah. like the zucchini looks good. I have one recipe that I use a zucchini in. Well, you're going to have two well, well, there, you today. Go. there you go. So are we going to be pre prepping some stuff we today? We are. I'm going right. to put you to work here, Catherine. Oh, so well. the first thing is my favorite party appetizer. It's one of those things that now when I think about it, my mouth starts to water. It's so good. Really? So what it is is it's marinated goat cheese. So I've just spread out the goat cheese, and on top of it is a mixture of uh, barely cooked garlic with olive oil, thyme, salt, and pepper. That you made yourself? That's right. Super easy. And then on top, we're putting pickled blueberries. So I'll get you to finish scattering the blueberries on oh, top. Oh, pickled. Did you I, make these too? I did. I'm obsessive wow. about food. I love okay, it. Do I, am I supposed to take the juices out? Or the it doesn't matter. Freeform. Whatever okay, you want. Freeform. Holy smokes. Okay. So then when people go to eat it, you just scoop up a little bit of the goat cheese. Pickled blueberries. How did I not know that existed? Uh, well, they didn't until I invented it, I think. <gasps> what does that mean? Does that mean I, that they're tart like, like pickles are? Well, they have a bit of a sweet sour thing. So okay, if you I'm, want, I'm yeah, I was going to say just I'm even try the blueberry, just one. try it with the goat cheese. I'll pickle any. Anything. Oh, it is pickled. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is a very surprising really taste. Really good in cocktails, too, those pickled blueberries, by the way. Like a dirty martini with those. A1. Look at you speaking my language. There you go. So that's a really great appetizer. And so you're meant to put that on a little bit of bread like that's that? Right. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Or you could even scatter that combination on top of some greens for a really fun salad. Okay, beautiful. So really versatile. So next up, the zucchini you mentioned. Yes. And it's true. It's hard to figure out ways to use it. I love this simple little spiralizer. I'm going to get you to try it. It's like a pencil sharpener. So okay. you kind of grip it there and then just push the zucchini and turn it and you'll be making zucchini noodles. What's coming out of that side? Oh, oh look is, at that. I put those noodles in a chicken soup base instead of pasta noodles, for example, for a really fresh summer soup. Okay, now, does it matter that they're making, like, no, super that's perfect. long? You can make them. We have contests in our house. I think the longest we've had was one nine-foot noodle. Wow. Um, and then when you're done, you just stop, and you can just pull them out of the back. There you go. Isn't that interesting? And then for a salad, I usually try and give them a little cut because then they're just a little bit easier to eat. Okay. So my favorite dressing for this is a combination of lemon and thyme. I'm really big on the thyme thing. Okay. And and a little bit of Dijon, some salt and pepper, and olive oil. And just spring. And, and basically, it's just zucchini with the, some of the dressing. That's right. And it's How so, so that? delicious. It's a great salad because it, uh, the zucchini is pretty robust. So if you want to make some and take some to work the next day, it's still going to be in really good shape. Well, you were talking about putting it in soup. Does it get really, really mushy when Not, you put no, that in soup? A lot of the strands have the outside still on them. Oh, so it kind of helps them hold their body. Uh, it, it just, it's just like having a pasta noodle in there. Look at that. You put nuts in there as well. A little pecan for a little crunch. Isn't that interesting? And there Beautiful. You go. That's so that's a really, glorious. really tasty, simple. You saw how fast that was. It, it was takes no time. See, I think that's the two things that we like best in the summer is that it's fast. That's right. Not only is it fresh. Fresh, yes, but fast, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of this stuff, because you're getting the vegetable right off the, from the market, wash that's it a right. little bit, and, the, and it's ready to go and almost. And it's not cooked. It's raw, so you're getting all those nutrients. That's right. Which okay. is great. This I love. Okay, that I can try. So then we've got some like, strawberry salsa. Oh, interesting. And I know you're not a fan of fruit in your salad. Well, but this, but this is, a new is not game. the same thing. That's yes. right. So I've uh, got some little scoopy chips there. So it's just chopped up strawberries with some little English cucumber for a bit of crunch, some cilantro, a little bit of onion, maple syrup, lime juice, salt and pepper. That's it. So some sweet and some of that and cilantro. A little, and a little bit of hot sauce. So it's got, it's got exactly, it's got the savory, the sweet, the That's whole That's incredible. Combo. Oh my gosh, I'm going to absolutely taste that at the end. Yeah. Because if I do that now, I won't be able to speak to you. And then you do, uh, you can do the same thing with cherries. You make a great cherry salsa. And these things are not only great for dipping, put them on grilled fish or chicken. Fabulous. So it works both ways. That's right. And that's what I like about all these things. Like the zucchini noodles, use them lots of ways. Use this for salads or an appetizer. Use this as a condiment or wow. just as a snack. Can I make something like this the day before? Yes, because it just keeps taking on the flavors. You'd want to refrigerate it. Yes, of course. But um, absolutely, you can make it ahead of time. So great for parties for that. Okay, I like that. Let's move on over to this side. Okay, so, you know, we always think about great treats for the kids, popsicles and, you know, yogurt pops and all these things. Yes. What about the big kids, right? Oh. We, we need something too. I hear you. So I actually 
tried this at home, but I had to go overboard because I always do. And I made a homemade lemon mint gelato, which was fantastic. Okay. And then topped it with my favorite cooler. So I'm going to get you to scoop a uh, couple scoops of ice cream into our glass here. Okay, I can and do I that. And I think we're going to go for a creamsicle combo here. So we have this black fly <gasps> That's orange my vodka cooler. Favorite. Wait a minute, what? With vodka in it? Oh, you're, yes. you're not kidding when you're talking I'm about grown-up floats. This is a grown-up float. So it's kind of like a drink or a dessert. It's, you know, everything oh, in one. Wow. Just okay. so, so simple. So two scoops like that. Yeah. Oh, come on, plop on out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just so simple, and then you just top it up, and look at that. You've got this great creamsicle action happening. For the grown-ups. For the grown-ups. And, you know, you serve that for dessert at a little backyard barbecue. People will be talking about it for days. How pretty is that? That's gorgeous. Should we have a taste? I think you should. I, yeah, I'm going to have to tell you if it's good, everybody yeah. at home, right? Mm. There's works. that creamsicle thing, and it's I busy. Know. Yeah, so it's just, you can use so many different flavor combinations. I've actually done a hard root beer with chocolate ice cream, which sounds weird, but it's delicious. The root beer chocolate combo just really works, and you can just, you know, have a bunch of different coolers on hand and have it like a little bar and have people assemble their own. Wow. Which is really, really fun. That's really interesting. When you're looking for produce, is there a way to, I'm always afraid like that I'm going to buy one that, that's over the top ready and then it's going to go bad in a couple. Is there a trick to, to knowing what the trick is to go to the farmer's market and tell them, and this is the way that they do it in Europe. If you go to a farmer's market in Europe, you do not touch the produce. They will slap your hand. Really? Because you're supposed to tell them in your best high school French that you want an avocado that's ready in three days or a tomato for tomorrow. And so I do that here all the time now and say, I'm gonna be making you know, a tomato salad, to, a caprese salad tomorrow, and they'll pick me the perfect tomato, and sure enough, tomorrow when I cut it, it's spectacular. Our, our local farmers, they know they their know, stuff. Exactly. They know their produce. They know when it was picked, exactly. So that's really what I try to do in the grocery store. It is a bit of a gamble, so you don't know. And we have a conversation in our house all the time about the tomatoes. Do they go in the fridge, or do they not go they in the fridge? They do not go I in the fridge. I agree. There you go, it I win. It ruins the I flavor. <laughs> well, your husband's gonna have a hard time today. <laughs> I know. Tomatoes. Food. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, they're better on the counter. That's right. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So, when we're thinking of making all of these things, all of this can be made ahead of time? Yep, or partially prepared and just assembled really fast. That's my way to cook is do the heavy lifting when no one's around and then you get to sit down, maybe have a cocktail before your guests arrive, you're relaxed and then you can be chatting with people while you very quickly yeah. put things out. And then leftovers can be kept in the fridge for up to? Usually I say three days. Yeah, because it's fresh. There's no preservative in it, right? right? You just created it That's yourself. Right. Yeah. Okay, isn't that beautiful? So lots more great summertime recipes coming up on Paula Roy's Favorite Foods. We're doing a cross-Canada tour in our six new <gasps> episodes. So great recipes from the east and central and western parts of Canada. Beautiful. And we can look for all of this information and so much more at constantlycooking.com. That's right. Can we find great recipes there too? About 500. Oh my goodness. Well, let me see if I can get through those on the weekend. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank Paula. You. All right. It's time to take a break. I'm going to taste this, uh, the strawberry salsa. I'll let you know what it tastes like after the break. We'll be right back in a moment.